there are 10 topics topic number one is just like class one of your school topic number 10 is like your board exams topic number one measure of central tendency mean median and mode when we talk about the mean we talk about the arithmetic mean how do we calculate the arithmetic mean add all divide by the sample size median arrange in ascending or descending order middle value is the median mode is the most frequently occurring measures of central tendency preferred in case of a normal distribution where mean is equal to median is equal to mode the most preferred is mean in case of non-normal distribution mean not equal to median not equal to mode the most preferred is median outlier is any extreme value in case of outlier most affected is mean least affected is mode but we do not use the mode because there is no statistical test for a mode median is the most preferred one in case of outlier bimodal two modes uniform bimodal both the peaks are of same height non-uniform bimodal both the peaks are of different heights mode summary is calculated three into median minus two into mean different types of mean arithmetic mean add all divide by sample size Harmonic mean, one upon arithmetic mean, geometric mean, the way bacillus multiply, weighted mean, where different components are given, different weightage or importance. This is topic number one. Topic number two, measure of dispersion or deviation of data. In maths, we used to range, read range, minimum to maximum values. In stats, there is no concept of range. For sample, we calculate standard deviation. For population, we calculate standard error. What is standard deviation? Root mean square deviation. What is standard error? Standard error is SD by root over N or root over PQ by N. Z score, it is used in bone mineral densities for osteoporosis and also in growth charts. Z score is X minus, is SD by mean, sorry, it is X minus mean divided by standard deviation. What is COV, unit free measure to compare two dissimilar variables? COV is SD by mean in 200. Topic number three, distribution of data, normal and non-normal distribution of data. Normal distribution of data is a bell-shaped curve. It is bilaterally symmetrical. The area under the curve is 1 or 100%. Mean is equal to median, is equal to mode, is equal to prevalence. For MCQ, plus minus 1 standard deviation is 68. Plus minus 2 standard deviation is 95. Plus minus 3 standard deviation is 99. Non-normal distribution, skewed, right or positive skewed. Whichever is the direction of skewness, mean will always be on that side. So mean is maximum. Then we have median. Then we have mode. Left skewed, mean is minimum. Then more than mean is mode is more than mean is the median more than median is the mode bimodal uniform bimodal mean is equal to median not equal to the mode topic number four variables most important classification qualitative versus quantitative quantitative kitna quality kaisa majority of variables can be both depending upon how they are measured but quantitative weight in kgs qualitative bahut mota hai. but there are some variables which are purely qualitative like race religion and gender yes only numbers, frequency or sample size, number plus metric scale, quantitative variable. Second classification, binary or dichotomous versus polytomous. Binary or dichotomous, only two answer, tall, short, more than two answer, polytomous. Third, discrete versus continuous, discrete, which cannot take in between values, continuous, which can take in between values. Yes. Next, topic number five, graphical representation of data. Bar diagram is discrete data, histogram continuous data, relationship shown by scatter diagram, spot map, geographical distribution, pictogram, easiest for common people, Venn diagram, overlap, tree diagram, progression, regression and correlation only tell you about relationship. They do not tell you about association or causation. Regression correlation are ranges from minus one to plus one. Minus means inverse relationship, plus means direct or forward relationship. Regression correlation are nothing more than equation of straight line, y is equal to mx plus c. Yes, quartile, four parts, normal, four equal parts, non-normal, four unequal parts. Probability, topic six, if it is dependent, we add. If it is independent, we multiply. Topic 7a, sample size, n is equal to 4 pq by d square. Topic 7b, sampling, convenient, as per my choice, simple random, lottery method, stratified, meaningful random, quota, meaningful, non-random, cluster, non-meaningful, random. Systematic, orderly, multi-stage or multi-phase, more than two stage. Topic number eight, confidence. Every study is done on a sample and the results are extrapolated to the population. Whenever you see the word confidence, that is CL or CI or population, calculate the standard error. How to calculate standard error? SD by root over N and root over Q by N. And then apply the same theorem. Mean is equal to median, is equal to mode, is equal to prevalence, plus minus one, two, three. Standard error is 68, 95, 99. Interpretation, rule A, then rule B, then rule C. Rule A, if CI tests the null value, it is statistically insignificant. Rule B, more the distance of point estimate from the null value, more is the significance. 
Three, smaller the CI, more the significance. Topic number nine, statistical test or test of association. Four steps, number of groups, two or more than two. Second, paired or unpaired. Third, output variable, quantity or quant quality. If it is quality, algorithm number one, 99% times, answer is chi square. If it is quantity, algorithm number two, two groups, T test, more than two groups, ANOVA. Topic number 10, hypothesis testing. Read the question carefully and determine in reality and in RCT which hypothesis is correct. Draw perpendicular line, get the answer. Cell number one, in both null hypothesis is true, which is called as confidence. Cell number four, in both alternate hypothesis is true, which is called as power. Cell number two, in reality alternate is true. In RCT, null is true, type two error. Cell number three, in reality the null is true, but in RCT by mistake you have proved the HA to be true. This is type one error. Type one error, also called as alpha, also called as false positive, also related to p-value. More dangerous is type one error. This is all about statistics.